All right, today we have uh, Paul Borkholder, and we are going to talk about um, threats and vulnerabilities. And um, Paul's going to demonstrate uh, some of the tools that are available today um, that can be used both to test your network for vulnerabilities, um, but it could also easily be used by a hacker um, as a tool to attack your network. So um, Paul's going to tell us what this tool is and a little bit about what it does, and uh, maybe we'll do a little demonstration of, um, of this tool. Okay, this is, um, this is Backtrack 3. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Linux-based... Um, ISO, virtual machine, and what happens is this tool allows me to do various different kinds of security tests. Um, penetration testing is a big deal right now. A lot mm -hmm. of companies want that done to make sure that their networks are good and secure. This tool here actually has a lot of tools already built right into it. So it's like an integrated tool? Absolutely. So it makes the scanning? Will it scan for vulnerabilities? It does all kinds of things. It will scan for vulnerabilities, and then not only will it scan for those vulnerabilities, but it will actually record those vulnerabilities into a database. And then another utility on here will actually allow me to take that database and run exploits against that database in accordance to the vulnerabilities that it already found. So almost anyone could use this tool then Absolutely. to attack network. Yeah, it's, it's mostly point and click. All you got to know is uh, the IP address of the machine. Just open up a web browser, type the IP address in, and tell it to exploit. Okay, so really the, what we're saying here then, any person that has this program, they don't really have to be an expert no, they to don't. attack your network. No, they don't. And that's really what is scary right now. So we put a lot of emphasis on how to do some of these things to instill upon you know, people in industry that this kind of stuff can happen. You need to put in measures to prevent this from happening. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take this tool and they'll use it for that purpose. They'll go do penetration testing against their network to find out where am I most vulnerable. And then wherever I'm most vulnerable, I can take and put firewalls in place, access control lists in place, and ensure these kinds of things don't happen. Okay. I mean, it really is very simple. Okay. A lot of these tools here are all listed. As you can see, there's information gathering, network mapping, uh, vulnerability identification. There are a slew of tools in here. It's just a matter of going out, doing a research, look for the tool, download it, and run with it. So if, if a network administrator doesn't have a tool like this to keep a step ahead of the attackers, they're really in trouble today. Yeah, they're, they're really going to be behind the eight ball because this stuff is so freely available. I mean, mm -hmm. anybody can get it. You could have a 12-year-old get it. So you can just download it from the internet. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The, the website's very easy to find if they just search for the tool. I mean, it's, it's like anything else. You know, the internet has really given us an opportunity to find anything we want. And what really makes it bad is you can find anything you want. I mean, mm -hmm. any kid can go out and find it and just say, oh, well, I want to go out and I'm, I'm upset with somebody. I want to hack their network. They can go out and find these tools. And, and so it's what free. are some of the tools? When they, what are the name of some of these tools and what do they do? Um, probably the one that is most um, important to network administrators is something called Metasploit. Okay. Um, Metasploit is a tool, it's a free tool that allows um, a potential penetration tester or a potential hacker to exploit systems. What it does is it keeps a database of modules that explain how to do exploits, because we don't write code. I mean, I'm not a coder myself, and, and I don't like to write code, but somebody's done the legwork for me. They've actually mm -hmm. know how the exploit works and what steps to take to do it. What Metasploit does is just gives me the interface to say, let's just do that one. Mm -hmm. um, one of the newest ones was a uh, Microsoft exploit um, here recently with one of their server services. This tool updated four weeks maybe five weeks after that exploit was released, this tool was, was updated, so now I can run that exploit against potential systems that haven't been patched yet. Okay. So what this would do is, and it actually has a, a nice little extra feature added into it. There's a feature called Fast Track, which automates Metasploit for me. So I have to know even less hmm. about any of this stuff in order to use this. It's just a matter of going in and running the command telling it what you want to do, and then the IP address of the machine you want to attack. So I would type in... And it will launch the attack automatically. It will do everything for me. It's just a matter of me sitting here and type in my IP. Everything's correct. I just hit enter, and I wait. Wow. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to run through, and it's going to go out and just say, okay, well, let's just go out there and just find out what's vulnerable. It'll actually run an Nmap scan, which will do basically a port scan of the machine to find out what's open. Mm -hmm. Once it finds out what's open, it'll then come back and say, okay, now these ports are open. Let's look in the Metasploit database and find out what exploits I could potentially go after 
based on the ports that are open. Because what this tries to do is speed up a lot of process. Okay. Because I don't want to have to waste my time trying to exploit features that aren't available. You know, why do I want to sit there and try to attack a web server if this machine's not running a web server? What this will do is it will allow me to go through and say, well, don't mess with that. It's not there. So we're not going to waste our time. It actually will let us also launch a GUI. Hmm. So I can even have a web interface to make my job just that much easier. I mean, if I just launch this here, it'll actually launch a web browser. And then I just have to launch any web browser I want, you know, Firefox or Internet Explorer. Now, obviously, this being Linux-based, I'm going to run, you know, Firefox. Firefox web browser. But it's a local web server. I just simply go out. It'll fire up. I just type in the IP address of my machine. As soon as I type that in there, it'll come up. And it has a list of things here off to the left. I can update this program. Also, I can update the Metasploit backend. I can do SQL injections. Hmm. You're trying to, you know, get into SQL databases. So trying it, to it take is advantage. a really powerful tool, and it you don't really need to. Well, you know, one of the questions, if um, you know, someone wanted to use this tool, um, you know, to attack you, is are there videos that are showing how to use it on the web, or um, I mean, how, to, how is a hacker going to learn about this? Unfortunately, there are videos all over the place. Okay. It's just a simple fact, and, and honestly, it's just a simple fact of going in and typing in just keywords like mm -hmm. Metasploit. Um, if you type in Metasploit one, it'll take you right to the main page of Metasploit. There are videos done all the time. So they show you step by step Absolutely. how to do it. Absolutely, and, and a lot of times it's just a matter of, I mean, they really tell you, and they'll show you exactly, okay, this is what you type, this is what you look for, mm -hmm. this is how you do it. it. It really is getting to a situation now where you don't have to know anything. If you can follow directions, mm -hmm. you can exploit systems and take advantage of administrators. So I think this probably really emphasizes the idea that, that security really is important. Um, internal attacks can easily be done by anyone now. Oh, you yeah. have a dis disgruntled employee and um, you got real problems on your hands. Huh? Yeah, a lot of people always take and they, they look at the outside as being the biggest threat. And a mm. lot of times it's the people inside that get upset that do these kinds but of things. But this tool could be used inside or outside. Inside or outside, yeah. If okay. you have any kind of access in through a firewall or anything, yeah, you can absolutely use this to do that and even potentially open up firewalls okay. if you're really not careful. Well, thanks, Paul. This is really interesting, and I think um, you know, this is eye-opening for our, uh, our students to see how easy it is nowadays for our, our, our systems to be attacked and how vulnerable they actually are if we don't you know, close our doors and lock our, yeah, our windows. Absolutely. So. absolutely. All right, thank you. No problem.